it's not called we who are about to live. An aspirant aspires merely to be remembered. To vanquish your foes in the arena, much practice and blood is needed. Every mistake in combat and management may be fatal, and death is permanent. Be careful, patient, and tactical. This is key to surviving the arena for as long as possible. The game's a work in progress and being made by a passionate but very small team. Please help to report any bugs in the official Discord accessible from the main menu. Good luck, Aspire. Hello, everybody. We open here. This is We Who Are About to Die. Starting from scratch here. What did it say continue? I did give this game a try once, but I really didn't get far. Oh, I want to start from scratch. Maybe that is starting from scratch. I don't know. Yeah, this is a level one guy. There's a lot to this game, huh? How do I even say his name? Erske Luoras? Under the oversight of the Skolo, aspirants of the morrow, you have been training to be a contestant since you were a boy. Your time to shine is finally here. Your Skolo takes 50% of all fame you earn. Starting specialist combat skills from the training in the Skolo. Some starting equipment provided by the Skolo. It's easier for you to win over the audience during combat. Training gear at the Skolo is cheaper. Of my traits. Personal goal is to reach aspired rank. Okay. This is the skull. Training regimen. To train, you must own training gear. Purchase below. Each training consumes gear depending on intensity. Select your training focuses and training intensity. Training regime, primary focus. Well, shoot, I don't know. There's a whole ton of stuff here. How am I supposed to know what to focus on right now? I'm not going to do that yet. You can invest in your Scolo. Your next character will benefit from this investment. You receive 10% of the total at the start of your next turn. Let's show my total. Oh, I have 929. I can't afford much of that. Go to the armory here. What's he got on his arm there? He's got a wooden weapon, sparring cap, wooden buckler. 
All right, here's the battle menu. Scheduled matches, week one. Impatient crowd, gold and fame reward starts at plus 25% and goes down to minus 25% over two minutes. Insurance, all your equipment durability will be maintained during this match. This one's just all question marks. And then spoils to the victor, you keep whatever weapon and shield you exit the arena with. Hmm. Let's do this one. To battle. Wait, don't I can I do like a tutorial? No idea what I'm doing. Toggle it to like a over the shoulder camera. Let's get a real sword. close. That's, that's a trick. When he has a big old spear like that, keep in close range to him so we can't extend it. <laughs> Shove him. Oh. Disarmed? Well, I stole my sword. Get him! I really need the tutorial again. It's gonna be a way, a way to reset the data. But you know what? I think when I first played this, it wasn't even on this computer. But the, the saves must be made somewhere else. Uh, let's block that. He's hurting me here now. Got him. The 
guess I can't pick up the weapons, which is a shame. I would like to pick up those weapons. He's got no weapon. I'm tired. This guy's exhausted. Well, he went and picked up another weapon. What can I? I'm gonna die soon. Got a hammer. Ah, I missed that lock. Going down. Going down. Oh. That is not the end. Regular sacrifice is expected. Do not be discouraged. Keep training. Your second aspirant is provided a weapon of choice by your skull. Try the toil again, yeah, you said. Start a new run. Behold, our god of blood and combat. As an offering, Tarantia was built. City of wine and games. City of 1,000 arenas. My name is Ajoridus. I was once like you. I retired and now I train fresh sacrificials and host games. On these training grounds, you'll learn the basics of combat. Train well, and maybe you'll make it through, like I did. That's what all aspirants aspire toward. Or don't, and become part of the regular blood sacrifice. Okay, movement is WASD. Move to the marked areas for basic lessons on the game. This game has a unique combat system. At first, you may struggle to even land a solid hit. Take your time to figure it out. Over time, you learn how to hit hard and how to hit accurately. Eventually, you will master combat. All right, I remember this is the tutorial. All right, move to each tutorial section. Scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Hold the middle mouse button and drag left and right to rotate the camera. Press R to switch between classic and third person. This way it might be a little easier. In classic mode, tap X to toggle auto cam. Auto cam tries to automatically keep the camera behind you. Oh yeah, okay. So like if I'm fighting this way, I press X. Oh, that doesn't work there. Huh. Press Z to reset the camera behind you and this mode. I guess it depends on where you're targeting, right? So I'm targeting here. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna stay in this for now. Movement, aim, and orientation. Hold left shift to sprint. In classic mode, you face the cursor. In sprint mode, you do not face the cursor. 
Tip, good movement and distance will keep you alive. Don't stand too close when attacking. Important, you can move the cursor near you to aim down and far from you to aim upward in classic mode. Well, hold on. Can we switch modes again? R. Okay, this is the third person mode. Picking up these coins, huh? Click and drag the left mouse button in a direction to ready a directional attack. Calm, control, drags work best. Attack direction locks if you complete a drag. Hold an attack for a bit. For best, re for best effect, release the left mouse button to strike. Press T to change training UI modes. Person camera is harder. Sure. To stab, click left mouse button without dragging. To overhead slash, double click left mouse button. Attack animations vary per weapon class. Most weapons have eight attacks. left alt to guarantee a stab, hold left control to guarantee an overhead slash. coins. Basic blocking. Click and hold the right mouse button with a shield or a weapon to block. Click the left mouse button or press Q on a nearby shield to pick it up. Nice. Press F while holding a shield to perform a shield bash. When shieldless you will perform a less powerful kick. Blocking with shields is more reliable but shields can break. Press tab to target the nearest enemy. Pressing again will switch to the second closest enemy. Press V will cycle between them all. To one target, press X. Once locked on, you'll automatically face the enemy. You can try this on the fighting dummies. Classic mode, during combat, it's best to keep your cursor around your opponent, whether, the, whether you use targeting or not. I think I'm going to stick with this mode. I don't know, this must be a classic mode. Press C to pay respect. Okay. Health and stamina. Health in red, stamina is in blue. Your max stamina goes down as you take damage. Stamina depletes with every action. Stamina regen effect, uh, rate is affected by your equipment. Untrained aspirants will have very little stamina to start. Low stamina affects you heavily. Manage it well. Skills such as attack speed, move speed, throwing increase as you perform the action. Practice makes perfect. View the aspirant's trainer accessed from the pause menu for more detailed info on other game systems. Let me 
is the intro to the Aspirants Trainer. This game has a unique hard to master combat system. It is possible that at first combat will feel unusual or even unwieldy. Practice will help. Play around with the training grounds to learn the basics first hand. You can always reset the tutorial. Yeah, I had to do that. It's been a while since I, I bought the game, I loaded it up, and I went through the tutorial, and then that was it. I was like, screw this, I can't even hit a damn practice dummy. I seem to have picked it up a little better this time around, though. The Aspirants Trainer will also provide a more in-depth detail about the game's mechanics whenever you need it. Movement. The default... By default, your character faces the cursor, unless you're in a sprint mode. In sprint mode, you face the direction you're moving. Combine directional dashes with your defense and offense in any way you want. When you are damaged or your stamina is low, your character may temporarily lose some motor functions <laughs> until they recover. Many actions will influence your movement speed. While holding an attack or holding up a shield, you move slower. Targeting is an assist system meant to help you out until you learn to control the game's mechanics fully. While targeting, you will remain facing towards that opponent. While targeting, you can turn your shield and torso more finely with the cursor. Targeting is heavily advised for beginners, but advanced players may want to avoid it, especially when facing multiple opponents. When you lock onto an opponent, they are more likely to lock onto you. Now, that was just <laughs> that was just the intro and movement. Then we have basic combat offense. Okay, we I read this. Most weapons have eight attack directions. Spears have three. Simply clicking without moving the mouse results in a stab. Double clicking is the overhead attack. Try imagining you are pulling your character's arm and then releasing a strike whenever you're ready. Attack strength. No, I didn't. I didn't start at the top. But this stuff we know. I already did this in the tutorial. Let's skip this. Let's go back. How do I go back? Return. Yeah. Money, 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 money. Advanced defending. When blocking without a shield, click and hold the right mouse button while hovering the cursor over your enemy. The cursor you hover, the closer you hover the cursor near the enemy weapon, the more reliable that block will be. When blocking with a shield, your shield will turn to face the cursor. Press Q to drop your shield. So I'm holding the right mouse button. I don't remember this camera last time I played. I just remember the third person camera, which is really, I think, a lot more difficult. Let me try a third person camera. And here you have to control the camera separately. So it makes it, makes it, that's another step, another thing you gotta do. Oh man. There we go. Okay. All right. Advanced attacking. Hold an attack for a bit to get more strength and speed. When you do a quick flick, your attack will be faster but weaker. Faint an attack by attacking again before an attack finishes. When targeting, your torso will face will, t will turn to face your cursor, allowing you to add momentum to a swing after releasing your strike. Dashing. WSD moves. Or um, press the spacebar to dash in the direction of movement. Okay, it's just a quick sprint. Yeah. 
dropping and picking up. Q drops your shield. E drops your weapon. When unarmed, hover your cursor over a nearby weapon or shield and click the left mouse or press E or Q to pick it up. Press B to show all tool tips on the screen. Whoa. Remember to drop your shield before trying to pick up a two-handed weapon. Two-handed shield. Throwing. Drop your weapon. And attack. Drop your weapon during any attack to throw. Overhead attacks work best. If you drop too early or too late, you'll fumble your throw. Double click to overhead and then drop it. Oh, yeah. That's kind of, that's really weird though. Sparring practice, training complete. Hit any of the sparring partners to start a fight. Drop your weapon to end the fight. You cannot die or kill anyone here, rather unfortunately, so don't worry. All right, let's fight, uh, let's make it even. Fight the guy here with a big old two-handed sword. Come on, let's go. Training complete. Alright, fine. I guess I got the hang of it. Press enter to continue to your debut match. Wait, did I pick up all the coins? Not yet. Pick up all the coins. Pick up the money, pick up the money. Fancy jug? Yeah, I want the fancy jug. I guess this is not loot. This is just a fancy jug you can probably throw at people. <laughs> right. To battle! My debut fight! I look kind of like a badass right now. A 
the hell was he just doing? Get another shield. Yeah, when I get low stamina, he just kind of stumbles around. He gets tired. Drop my shield. Pick it up. No, oh, I just dropped my sword. Pick it up. Cute picks up. Level 2, got 3 kills, total damage dealt, 167, surviving, allies, 8. Equipment, fame multiplier, audience favor, 100%. And my fame reward. You have to love the sounds of those bozos in the background. Since it's your first time as an aspirant, your scholar has gifted you a free shield and sword. Good luck. So this is where I started the stream because I I just I had finished the tutorial and then I didn't do I didn't go any further. Here's your difficulty: commoner, gladiator, lion slayer, and my character is Alex Manrales. 
Thrill Seeker Civilian. Challenge levels four to five skulls. You are a Hanyan commoner who has been dying to enter the arena. Petty crimes simply don't give you the adrenaline rush you need anymore. It's time to step it up. I have to pay a service fee every week to my Skolo. When possible, cost is 500. When I have lower health and increases my stamina regeneration. I'm a free man, so match skips are 50% cheaper. Gold. I start I guess I get 1395 gold. And fame. I get a 1169 fame bonus. Victory condition, kill 80 aspirants. Alright, so that's what I have to do. Kill 80 aspirants. I could pick an emblem here. to the victor. You keep whatever weapon and or shield you exit the arena with. Uh, entourage. Add plus two allies to your side. Requires Entourage Skolo upgrade. Let me go back and see if I could buy that right now. Skolo. Entourage. Where is it? Entourage. Yeah, it costs too much. It's one of the biggies. Can't afford this yet. I'm not going to spend anything yet. Let's just see what what I how I can do. Well, it's it's basically you lose and you lose your aspirant. You have to start over. So it would be a shame to lose this character and not spend any of his currencies. Let's see if I could afford anything. Not really, right? He only has 1,169. Uh, whatever this is, is this renown or fame? And this is his coins. 1,395 coins is not enough to buy anything, except an heirloom here. Is this, I wonder if you need both of these or just one of them. The heirloom, your next character inherits the first item in your inventory. It may need some repairs. All right, I can't really afford anything. Let's just go fight and then hope for the best. The venue is the pit here. Carefully select your next match here and then go to battle when ready. You can unlock a fourth one by paying this. Influence? Yeah, this is influence. You can re-roll your matches for the week by spending influence. Let's do this one. How do I pick it? Can I not pick this one? There we go. Too bad.
a good one. I forgot how to stab. You win yes. the game. One hundred and seven hundred, one thousand seven hundred thirty-four coins. One hundred one, one thousand one hundred twenty-four influence. I made to level two. This was a many versus many battle. This is fame. I don't know. This is fame or influence. Fame, I thought. Got two kills. Just my total damage. An ally survived. Must be able to gain favor with these influential people. The audience liked it. Meet the patrons. Every match in this city is hosted by a patron. Fight for them and earn favor to ignore or ignore them and lose it. Patron favor influences the likeliness of impactful, positive, or negative events with that patron. Patron, patron favor also influences payout of matches and more. Select your matches carefully. We have Aurora Inolthulius focuses on information and relationships. Maza the Empress Mongol Mongadi focus on fame and influence. Valerius Pouch Orum focus on gold. <laughs> gold, gold, gold. And Juridus Lacurius, focus on training, skill, and skull. Your hard-earned victory has reaped some benefits. Try to enjoy it before dying in your next match, all right? Choose reward, rank up. Rank three, unproven. I have a basic pick. Your trainer offers a free item fitting of your new rank. Or plus 100 fame to all next characters. Max 5,000. Your rise will shine a good light on your Skolo for years to come. Oh, let's just take that. Why not? Recovery. After your battle, you take some time to rest and recover 13 health points. Your health is now 96. I have treatment available. Your first visit to the physician is free, covered by your Skolo. Go to the career menu and visit the physician under the utility tab. Imperial War Logistics. The city of Tarantia has been called upon to deliver weapons and armor to the Imperial War effort. This week, there is a shortage on all equipment, causing prices to increase. Shop costs are incre increased by 35%. Alright, so I can choose one of these three things. The Imperial War takes precedence over any entertainment, so be it. War is hell. Or my pouch of coin. Or I must do all I can. Donate all your equipment to the war. No, let's just do... The Imperial War takes precedent over in any entertainment, so be it. Alright, so they told me to go to Utility. And then they told me to go someplace, and I forgot what it was. Skolo? Why don't we train? To train, you must own training gear, purchased below. Each training consumes gear depending on the intensity. So let's do uh, training regime. Training regime, primary focus. We've been fighting with a one-handed weapon. Let's just do one-handed sword for now.
secondary focus, uh, shield. Intensity. Let's do intense. The training effect. You don't have enough training gear to train with this week. This week's training gear will require five training gear. Well, how do I buy the training gear? I thought it, I thought it just said I could buy training gear below. Fundraise. Solicit wealthy Tarantians with your influence. The more total favor, the better the rate of conversion. Immediate effect once per week. Right now my total favor is minus 9. Expect 147 to 293 gold per 1,000 fame spent. No, I don't want to fundraise yet. I really don't have enough to do much of this, but how do I train? It says I have to own training gear purchased below. Oh, purchase right here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's fine. I think I needed five for intense training. You will gain plus four and a half to my one-handed sword skill and 240% one-handed one -handed sword skill learning rate. And I'll gain 3.2 shield skill and 135% shield skill learning rate. So how do I go ahead and do it? After every match, you can purchase a random selection of equipment here. You can sell equipment at your inventory slots. It's a Mirrodon Arm Guard. I can't afford that. Well, I can't afford it with coins, but I can afford it with my fame. Buy or hold this item. Shopkeep has present, presented to you this week. Hover over the icon to the left to see the item's stats. Oh, it's a shield. And then there's padded arm wraps. see you could spend fame to hold it you have to spend coins to buy it so I can have the shopkeeper hold these for me so that I can accumulate the coin and buy them later I guess you can only do one all right let's go to the battle menu see what we have to pit fight. It says me, question mark, question mark, versus civilian, question mark, pit slave. Oh, I see. It's like a team thing. 
So me and two others, who knows who, versus a civilian, a pit slave, and who knows who. And why not? Let's just do this one. To battle. The Great Pit. It's an impatient crowd. Oh, I cut him straight in half. Easy game. Now, I don't know... I don't know who my allies are. But these two are fighting each other, but... Uh, this guy wants a piece of me to fight him. Everybody. I'm just tearing it up. The public is obsessed. They're loving it. They're loving it. And the crowd won't grant you any bonuses. I mean, I'm killing it as fast as I can. I'm not sure if I was supposed to kill everybody there, but I, I kind of did. Well, I, I killed everybody except for that one guy that was next to me when, when it ended. But that was pretty good. Over 2,000 coins. Cod was impatient, so which means I, I didn't get the 89 bonus. Match base fame, 876. Again, the impatient crowd subtracts from that. I had 10 kills for 500 fame. Total damage dealt, 379. Very good. Team damage dealt. I, I hit my own guy once, I guess. You have you, your hard-earned victory has re reaped some benefits. Try to enjoy it before dying in your next match. All right. All right. Ranked up to four. Rising trainee. 
choose reward. Stamina skill. Your achievement helps you find a way to dig even deeper when you really need it. Plus 9.6% stamina, I guess. Or shield skill. Using a shield as efficiently as your weapon is becoming second nature. Well, I used a two-hander last time. Let's just go with the stamina. After your battle, you take some time to rest and recover 11 hit points. Your health is now 69. So I see you don't start each match at full health. You have to rest. Item reserve. The item you have asked the shopkeeper to hold are available for you to buy. Be warned. To hold it for another round, you will have to use your influence, fame. I guess they are the one and the same. Fame and influence. The blue, the blue number. I have to convince him again. Well, it's a festival of wine. Terentria is world renowned for its wine, and a citywide festival has been announced after a particularly good harvest and production. In a historic event, Maza has, has purchased a quarter of the city's wine kegs to be distributed free among the commoners, a woman of the people. Unfortunately, these people don't. Unfortunately, those people do not include slaves or aspirants. The effects are citywide and very noticeable. Let the wine flow. As a result of the feast, most of the city's commoners are still either drinking, sleeping, or in a deep hangover all week. Attendance at the average match is at an all-time low this week. This week, all matches yield minus 50 fame. Or minus 50% fame. Was this all an elaborate plan to hurt you? Surely not. Alright, well I'm going to buy this now. The boots that I had held for me, I could afford. Uh, how do I wear them now? Furhide Pauldron. Right arm. Why do I have to unlock something that I just bought? Oh, I didn't have to unlock what I just bought. I had to unlock another slot to fit in my inventory. Well, that makes sense. This I could sell. Right mouse button, sell. Oh, I get it. This is a right arm wrap. Armor plus 12%, durability, weight, fame multiplier, minus 5%. I don't need that. A rate of shaka. This is expensive. Uh, that's good enough. Here's my character, 69 health out of 100. Not great, I wish I could heal. His stamina regen, 79%. His total equipment weight is 10. Fame multiplier is minus five. That must be from another piece of gear he's wearing. Fame multiplier minus 10 on his helmet. But plus five on his Iron Daka, so there you have it. Okay, utility menu. Heal. The physician will heal you for 25 to 35 health. Each next procedure this week gets more expensive and less effective. Yeah, I'm, I want to free. Yeah, I definitely want to heal. Your gold buys the care of the Skolo's wise physician. You gain 29 health points. Your health is now 99. Shop order. The shop owner will scrounge together three to five items of the requested type to present in the shop after your next match. Let's just get ordinary stuff for now that I don't have a lot of money. 
promote. The promoter uses a budget to spread word of your achievements. Expect 300 to 500 fame per 1,000 gold spent. <laughs> it's pay to win. Uh, I read the fundraising. I don't want to do that yet. Bribery. Attempt to bribe a patron to increase your favor. You may assess your chances. Please enter a bribe amount below and assess to receive information. There you go. I can choose which patron to bribe. Well. All right. I have almost 3,000. I guess after I win my next one, I'll buy one of these upgrades. So my character base stats again. These are my statistics. Total matches, 3. Total kills, 21. Total damage dealt, 1,130. And damage taken, 502. Lifetime stats. That's pretty cool. Those lifetime stats must be across all of your aspirants. Yeah. Here's my backstory again. My victories. Alright, how about one more match? It's kind of addicting a little bit. Battle menu. This is just a regular 1v1 1v1 here in the pit. It's got insurance. All your equipment's durability will be maintained during this match. It doesn't show how much I earn, though. This is a big one here, survival. I wonder what the survival one entails. I don't know. I don't, I'm afraid these are going to be... Look at this. Elite fight? Does this mean I have to fight all these guys? Forget it. No, I'll just stick with this one. Nice art in the loading screens. Alright. Just try not to be a spaz here. Got to manage my stamina better this time. I was getting tired last fight. Sent them flying over the mountain. Can I bow? How do I bow? I should really bow for that. That was impressive. Easy fight. Get some rest, Aspirant. I got to level 5. Got a lot of money. Got a bunch of fame. Easy. Easy job. Easy fight. Your hard earned victory has reaped some benefits. Try to enjoy it before dying in your next match, alright? Yeah. After your battle, you take some time to rest. Your health is now 100. Actually improved my health after that fight. Adoring fan, you descend after your last match and sit down to rest and remove your weapons when someone nervously approaches you. I am, I am, I am, I'm the biggest fan. After your last performance, I just had to slip by the gate guards and meet you. Please, take this family heirloom. It may not be much, but I want you to have it. The fan removes a rugged cloth sheet to reveal... Aspirant straps. I'm going to humbly uh, decline the gift, citing that it must stay in the family. 
Word of your honor spreads around the district the family lives at. You gain 100 fame. All right. Uh, I want to go directly here to the utility menu, to the Scolo, and I want to buy a Scolo upgrade. I can afford a few. Aspirant Welfare is healing price of each procedure is cut by 20%. Almost, but not quite afford this. But I could do something to get money in between fights. This just helps the physicians heal me more. We are about to disinfect. Greater mending, blacksmith repairs for 50% durability. This is too expensive right now, too. Uh, well, let's just buy the extraordinary for the 2000 fame because that will help better quality items appear in the shop okay that's good you know I just realized that I'm using a two-handed sword but I'm training in one-hander so let's do two-handed sword here now and uh, Train 200 sword and movement. We'll do intense again. I have to purchase how many? Ah, okay. Yeah, it just happens. Once you have the the uh, correct number of training gear, it. It happens over the week, I guess. I'm going to gain plus four and two-handed swords and 240% learning rate in two-handed swords and plus 2.4 movement skill, plus 135% movement skill learning rate. Now, back to fundraise. I could solicit wealthy Tarantians with your influence. The more total favor, the better rate of conversion an immediate effect once per week so I could actually oh no this is spending money no this, yeah this is spending fame to get money so if I wanted to go back here and afford let's say we who are about to disinfect I don't have enough but I could I could fundraise for it it doesn't show you the exact coin amount you're gonna get though it just says approximately 140 to 280 gold per 1,000 spent. So I would have to spend a lot of fame in order to do that. That's not worth it. I don't have to heal. I don't know how to tell. Let me see if I could see the shape of my gear. Go to the armory. Okay, here's the gear. Durability on my iron, iron daca is 175 out of 246. It's okay. It's razor sharp. Always decapitates, dismembers when possible. <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, well, let's see what's in here. Let's see what these things are. It's a shield. I don't need that. This must be a helmet. Yeah, it's a head wrap. And this is another weapon, I guess. Why not? Iron spiked mala. It's expensive. Really expensive. You can spend fame to unlock more... Uh, slots for items. I'm guessing this is a shield. I'm not sure why I would need this if I'm going to use a two-hander. All right. I got to do one more, right? I got the last fight was so fast. This venue is in a small villa. That's all the information I get here. I wonder if there's something I can do to um to like get more information from these fights. Here's a many versus many battle. Spoils to the victor, you keep whatever weapon and shield you exit the arena with, and shrouded. Extra information about this match cannot be revealed. I don't know what that means. And here's just a standard pit one. Let's fight in the villa. Let's do that one.
look at the, the blood is reflective. Oh, this guy means business. He's coming right out swinging. Look at him. Oh, 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 oh. Made his knees buckle there. Ow. Dizzy here. He's hurting me a little bit. Got him. Wow, it went up to level 8 from that? I went from level 5 to level 8 there. It may be. Is that because of the training I did? Got 3,409 coins. Over 2,000 fame. Not bad. Alright, rank 5, an adept aspirant. I could choose. Plus 1,999 fame. Rumors of your achievements and rank reach the streets of Tarantia. Or I could take plus 100 fame to all next characters, max 500. I've already gotten this once. This would be plus 200. Take that one. My health is 65. A mysterious malaise. Fever has struck you, or was it a hangover? Either way, you feel like a bag of wet rocks. The guaranteed effects of this are, are I lose 25% of my health and max stamina is capped at 40 for one week. Yikes. Will you pressure yourself taking further risk or take it easy? I think I'm going to take it easy. I must rest and recover or I'll be sleeping forever. Yeah. The following effect takes place. Training and all related activities are unavailable this week. Scholo upgrades are unavailable this week. You cannot promote. You cannot run promotion or fundraising campaigns, and you cannot place bets this week. Well, I haven't really done much of that, except for the training, really, and the upgrade, maybe. But I can see what kind of items are here. This is the right boot, so I'll buy the left boot. Okay, now I've got matching boots. Sell that. Why not check out and see what these weapons are? A wooden chroma? No, thank you. I don't want any wooden weapon. A bong mala. It's very expensive. I can afford it, but let's see what it does. Two handed mace. Damage 28. Durability, speed, range. I'd like to see what my, what my, well, my damage is only 18, and this is 28. The durability is really bad on my sword, so maybe it's time to get a new weapon, huh? Uh, I could repair, though. The speed is better on this Bong Mala. The range is a little bit, oh, it's better on the Bong Mala. It's just, it's just a better weapon altogether. It's got knockback, ba damage bonus versus unarmored. It's got plus 25 damage against unarmored parts. That's just a bludgeoning weapon. Look at it. Uh, I don't know if I want to spend all my money. Let's see if I could repair my sword. The smith will repair durability divided over all items in your auxiliary inventory slots after your next fight and prioritize items left to right why will he only do items in your auxiliary inventory slots what does my auxiliary inventory slots look like is it these down here yeah so I'd want, I'd want that repaired 
And that. So now I know why you want to unlock more. Let's just repair 100 to 200 durability. Higher for, geez, nearly a thousand coins. Okay, that's done. Uh, the shop owner will scrounge together three to five items of the requested type. Well, I don't want one-handed weapons. I wanna, I wanna look at armor. Let's let's ask him to look at armor. And ordinary order. I have I have a lot more fame than I have coins, so there's no need to promote right now. I could fundraise to use my fame to get some more money. Let's see how much gold I get for 700 fame. Oh wait, there is no fundraising this week because of the no promotion of fundraising, I forgot. All right. Oh, hi, perfect gamer. So, yeah, I see that you can't repair the weapon. I was just looking at that, and I'm thinking, if I go into another fight, I'm going to be using my fists. So now I guess is the time to buy this weapon here. Oh, and healing, yeah. But I thought I was taking the week off. I had a sickness, or something. My, my character got sick, and then I, the, 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 um, the option I chose was to rest. Can you skip a fight? I thought you were allowed to skip fights. To get, you could pay or something to skip fights. Anyway, I'm going to heal. Let's see. Alright, 81. That's fine. I don't think I can train. Top left at utility. Is that what I just did? Yeah, that's what I just did. I'm not going to do it again. That doesn't seem worth it. I'll take my chances. And then these, yeah, I think these weapons come in in our two-handers. I, I told, I told them to order armor this time around though, because I have like no armor. And these things are being fixed, so I guess time to the next fight. I was going to do like two or three fights, and I can't stop. The game is like completely addicting. I love it, and it's so much different than when I first tried it. They added so much stuff. What is this draft? The venue's countryside. Uninformed. Every team fights for a faction and aspirants wear faction equipment. Rabble. All other aspirants have half health. Half health. Hmm. You can see if there is luck of the draw. Where where can you see luck of the draw? Where can you see that? And you can pay fame to re-roll the matches. I kind of want to do the draft, but I'm afraid I'm going to die. Oh, yeah. I 
I don't know. Do you think that's a good idea? Reveal all information on upcoming matches at once. Yeah, I'm going to try it. Let's see. Cool. Oh, yeah, that's definitely worth it. So this is a level 7 bracket, 1v1. Spoil us to the victor. We know what that means. Prestigious. Plus 10% of gold reward is invested in your next character. Impatient crowd. I've seen that before. I don't like it. It wasn't terrible, though. I didn't lose that much because of the impatient crowd. All right. Still not sure what the draft means. Like, what kind of match is this? What is a draft? And I guess survival is just kind of self-explanatory. Me versus all these guys. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that one. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to draft. Oh, cool. It's out, it's out of doors. Why would you run and spend stamina? I forgot how to stab. This guy just keeps on pushing me. I know who's on my team and who's not. I see. We're dre we're dressed a lot. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. Get out of there. I had him without a shield for a while. I find the spear very hard to control. Seriously, I mean, <laughs> it's like 50 of them. Right. Going out in a blaze of glory. I should just spin it around like Darth Maul. I need the health power. Where's the health orb? picked up one of my dude's shield. <laughs> they freak out sometimes, and sometimes the graphics get glitchy, huh? I 
last breath. I don't know what he's doing with that thing. Yet another aspirant dies. My total score. 41,781. Survived six weeks. Total kills 24 for 12,000. Total victories 5 for nearly 20,000. The damage dealt compared to damage taken isn't terrible, but I gotta get better at defending. And I have to like use my stamina better. My stamina runs out too quickly. Well, that was fun. If you don't kill them in time, more join the fight. Well, I learned that pretty quick. I didn't realize I was starting with a spear. I wasn't used to the spear. I have to practice. I have to practice with all the weapons, I think. Also, if you don't like spears, try to drop it and pick up a weapon. Why didn't I think of that? I just did the tutorial and figured out how to pick up and drop weapons. <laughs> yeah, rip. It was fun, though. Very, very cool game. Much better than when I, when I first picked it up. I like it. Definitely I'll do another run. But I'm going to sign off this time. Thanks for the help, uh, Perfect Gamer. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a good one. And I'll see you next time. Take care.